Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, maybe your comment or your video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Ken Masters, the spoiled street fighter, and Katsuki Bakugo, the hot-headed hero. Which of these two fiery blonde rivals will come out on top in a clash to the bitter end? This is Universes. Alright, so that spoiled street fighter thing in the intro is actually a bit of a joke. Yes, Ken Masters did come from a wealthy family, but in reality, he was actually sent off to Japan by his father so he wouldn't be a spoiled brat growing up with all the wealth. Forget life lessons, son. Punching will make you a better person. And I joke about this because Ken was actually sent to train under his father's friend, Gokin. He learned how to fight with his best friend and rival Ryu, later returning to the United States to show off his fighting skills. He won several US tournaments, one of which being where he would meet his soon-to-be wife, Eliza. Returning to Japan with his wife to give the good news to his master, he found out that Gokin had been murdered and instantly teamed up with Ryu to train and find this raging demon of a murderer. And of course, like every dang fighter on my show, he had the best tools for the job. Ken and Ryu both trained in the art of the Ansatsuken, or Assassination Fist, and as such have learned pretty much all of the same moves. However, to be more unique, Ken has enhanced these moves into his own personal versions. Let's take the iconic Hadouken for example. It's a blue ball of ki that also has a fiery version called the Shakunetsu Hadouken. But in addition to that, Ken has the Repu Hadouken, allowing him to fire up to two Hadoukens from his feet. Then there's the Shoryuken, a powerful uppercut move. Ken has his own version of that move too, called the Shoryu Repa, where he throws three uppercuts with his fists covered in powerful flames. Then comes the most powerful version of this attack, the Shinryuken. Finally, we come to the Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku, a spinning hurricane kick that lets you glide in the air and avoid projectile attacks. Ken's version, once again allowing him to set himself on fire, allows him to deliver even more kicks than usual while carrying his foes into the air. He'll finish off with one last stomp to the face in the special move that he calls the Gurun Engine Kukiaku. Combine this massive hand-to-hand -hand arsenal with some counters, a couple minor stat boosters, and you have yourself one versatile fighter. Now when it comes to feats, Ken surprisingly doesn't have much to work with on his own. But who boy has he tangled with people who do, so... Prepare for scaling! Yay! Fun! Ken should be superior to, or at least on par with Chun-Li, the lady cop who had produced a massive crater with one of her attacks that, when calced, added up to town levels of kinetic energy. And to prove this is consistent, instead of some very loose scaling, Ken is a constant rival to Ryu, and has even beaten him on multiple occasions. Ryu's own energy was so powerful that M. Bison wished to harness it in order to destroy entire cities. Not only does his attack potency scale though, his speed does too. Ryu has been able to dodge bullets at point-blank range, and Ken has been able to dodge Gohadoukens from Akuma, both of which reach hypersonic to high hypersonic levels of speed. And don't forget, Ken has little stat boosters that can make this scaling ever so slightly higher. But let's see if Bakugo actually has some stuff of his own that can defeat Ken. Oh, hey! Oh, nice kick! This one's destined to be a better fighter than dear old dad. <laughs> sure is. Sure is. Special thanks and shout out to Brandon Gaming VA who did the research for Bakugo. He got some real good stuff in here. Anyways, in the world of My Hero Academia, many people have a special ability called a quirk. Just about all of these people make the choice to use their quirk to help others and become a hero. Katsuki Bakugo here is no exception to this, as he has his very own quirk. In fact, even at an early age, Bakugo was very skilled in his abilities, receiving compliments and praise that filled him with pride, which also resulted in him looking down on others with no quirk, like Izuku Midoriya, also known as Deku, a friend he would often bully. In a cruel twist of fate though, when Bakugo got into UA High School, he was surprised to find Deku there, mysteriously possessing the quirk of the legendary All Might. In a fit of confusion and jealousy, Bakugo made it his goal to surpass Deku and even All Might himself, proving he should be on top. Speaking of these quirks though, Bakugo's is the ability to generate and manipulate explosions. Generating explosions that are too powerful could do damage to himself, but that's what his grenade bracers are for. They give him more precision and focus with his explosions, and work well as gauntlets for hand-to-hand -hand combat due to their sheer size and weight. And now that grenades are on the mind, that leads us to the many different variants of his explosions. The first of them being the stun grenade, which releases a bright flash with an explosion to stun his enemies and catch them off guard. The blast rush turbo allows Bakugo to 
uses explosions to increase his own speed and mobility. The howitzer impact is the biggest explosion he can create, covering a large area in a gigantic wall of flames. Then there's the AP shot, which allows Bakugo to focus an explosion into a small but more potent burst for some extra precision. All of these abilities are cool, but as mentioned before, without his bracers, the explosions he creates can end up hurting him if they're too powerful, and they can be broken. Bakugo will be careful though, as he is a smart fighter despite his short temper. I mean, just look at what he's done. Now, Bakugo does rely a bit on scaling too, but unlike Ken, he does have some neat stuff himself. Both he and his fire have been able to blast through several concrete floors in a building. His explosions can cover city block sized areas, and even with a single shot he was able to destroy a small meteor shower from Uraraka. Then when we get into scaling he should be superior to Todoroki, who can cover multi city block sized forests with his ice. He survived hits from Deku using 1 for all at 8%, survived Todoroki's fire and ice attacks, and has even managed to survive hits from All Might. A very, very restricted All Might, but it's still All Might! The My Hero Verse is also full of bullet timers, and Bakugo should definitely scale to them as well, likely even slightly faster as he can increase his speed with the Blast Rush Turbo. Pretty neat! But did you expect any less from a UA student, especially the one to get the highest score on his exam? Does Ken's Ansatsuken stand a chance against Bakugo's quirk? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. I just want to say, I'm going to win. Next time in the versus Ken versus Bokugo. Well, this fire fighting, I would say Ken will take the victory. First is that the best fish are all from scaling. Well, Bokugo is a multi city block level to supersonics plus speed at best, plus scaling to Daku. But Ken can easily scale to Chinese town level blast of actually create ones in the forest. He had even scaled to the sun's mo most fighters in the Spirit Fighter universe who can react to hypersonic speeds. But dodging hypersonic tokens. But this is not by much sense. At least Bokugo can at least catch up with Ken and hear about their staff department. So, let's down to the next category. The skills. Well, Ken is already a skilled martial artist and he trained all his life well. Bokugo is still a teenager and doesn't receive as much training as strong teachers as Ken does. As for intelligence, they are both even. About. Well, I can say Bokugo is a bit box smart since he's a straight A student. But Ken has more fighting experience, home field advantage and that he know how to deal with combatants. Yep. Now, uh, but there's still a advantage that Bokugo at least takes first is mobility. His fire blast and his bounce and he hits the ground here bounces him off sky high rather than something that Ken's Shoroken and Tatsumaki has Sakuyako can do. And his arsenal is already better than him. Well, Ken has fire uppercut Shorokens and Hadoukens but Bokuga punch explosion fists and even burn the entire place here but those are his advantage ends well one more argument for Ken that he beats Bokugo now Bokugo is extremely cocky and arrogant well Ken is not as much and he sometimes and he knows when to take the fight seriously when he in his battles. So I think the winner is Ken. Hey, what's going on everybody? Corn O'Keefe bringing you yet again another universe's prediction. We got Bakugo from My Hero Academia versus Ken Masters from Street Fighter. This is actually a really cool fight, in my own opinion on that part. But at the end of the day, I gotta go with Ken Masters. Simply put, Bakugo should easily be around building level up to multi city block, possibly in the middle somewhere, you know, city block, anywhere in the ranges of building to city block levels. And he should have the speed ranges anywhere from subsonic on the low end of things to supersonic plus speeds on the higher end of things. And obviously, he has his quirk. 
and he can cause giant explosions. He's a badass in his own right. Got a temper on him. Got a temper at times. And you got Ken, Ken Masters. Now, looking into things, I'm actually a pretty big Street Fighter fan. I watched some of My Hero Academia, but looking into things, Ken does scale to Chun Li, who has a small town level feat. And Ken easily scales to this, and he keeps up with base Ryu, who can casually dodge multiple bullets. And Ken has basically blitzed Ryu on a time or two. So at the end of the day, their speed is pretty close, I would say. But when you involve accurate scaling, Ken does outclass him in terms of durability and attack power. And Ken would be the better fighter, have more experience, just all around more experience and the better fighter, if you know what I'm saying. So add that on to his better attack power and durability. Their speed is around even. I got to give it to Ken Masters at the end of the day, folks. Let me know what you think down below. Going with Ken Masters all the way. It's a good fight. I love the idea. Shout out to Universes. Shout out to Leopold the Brave and the rest of his channel. Go check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. Ken all the way. Peace. And the results are in. The winner is... Ken Masters. No snappy remarks this time. Let's get right into why he takes this fight. Now don't get me wrong, Bakugo does have some advantages in this battle. For example, his fire manipulation is much superior thanks to his explosion quirk, and as such that also grants him a superior range and area of effect. However, the area of effect means nothing if the cause of the effect isn't strong enough. Standing in a big room full of fire will take a lot longer to kill you than being stabbed by a tiny little knife. Get what I'm saying here? Bakugo can cover more ground, but the ground Ken covers is way more powerful. Ken doesn't have many feats of his own, but he's tangled with and even beaten foes who surpass Bakugo's stats by a long shot. Ken's enemies reaching up to town levels of power, while Bakugo's barely scratching multi-city block levels. Bakugo's experience fighting enemies with weird quirks wouldn't exactly help him out here either, especially considering the roster Ken battles is just as weird. Psychics, stretchy boys, not Wolverine, Ken is nothing new to Bakugo, but Bakugo is nothing new to Ken either. So power and experience is covered. Next up is speed. Both our bullet timers have surpassed other bullet timers, but Ken has the advantage of reacting to Hadouken attacks which have been calculated to hypersonic to high hypersonic speeds. While Bakugo could use his Blast Rush Turbo to gain a little extra boost, there's no reason to assume it'd be enough to catch him up to Ken's speed anyways. Besides, even if it did, it's not like he'd be able to use Blast Rush Turbo the entire match. Another minor detail that does play an important role is Bakugo's temper. Ken is the complete opposite of Bakugo when it comes to combat personality. He's very laid back and knows how to use his foe's anger against them, such as when he was able to snap Ryu out of his evil state when fighting him. The risk of Bakugo injuring himself if Ken were to break his bracers added on top of all this makes Ken's victory even more obvious. Bakugo can reach far, but he can't hit hard enough, so he gets fired. The winner is... Ken Masters. Win. Get ready for the next battle! <sighs> Ran into another problem. Last time my matchup was trapped within the sun, and now it's trapped in the core of the earth, so... Let's get it! Hop! Oh,